Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be working on a project using those digital papers I showed you guys in a previous video. So if you guys want to see the full flip through of the digital papers, check out the link in the description box down below. I'm going to have that video linked for you guys so you guys can see what I will be working with. But I'm going to be making a folio journal um, and we're just going to be making it up as I go. So I thought I would take you guys along for the process. First thing I have here are two pieces of chipboard that measure five by eight inches. And then I had this scrappy piece in my stash. So this one measures eight inches by one and three eighths. Now you don't have to do it like that. You could do one and a half. You could do one and a quarter. Um, I just am using a scrap piece. So this is one and three eighths. Okay, so I'm going to mat all of these or put some double-sided tape on the back of all of these. And then we're going to be working on my base. And I'm using double-sided tape, both from scrapbook.com and Amazon. So obviously the one that says scrapbook.com is from scrapbook.com but the other one this one that says sukwang or something that one is from amazon and i'm gonna have both of these sizes linked down below in case you guys want them as well i believe this one is two inches and this one is just under half an inch it's three eighths of an inch okay so i have my pieces here I'm going to be using some white uh, paper actually maybe I should do like a cream color that cream color might be better and then I could get to use up my cream paper that I don't like Okay guys, I'm going to use the cream because we're probably going to stain the edges anyway and um, since it's a junk journal, so this will be easier to stain the edges. Alright, so this is just from Mark Collections called Cream. I've had this for a while because I just, I don't like cream paper. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to put, I think, three of these together. So I'm going to layer three of these together, so I'm just putting some tape on the edges here on the long side okay let me do one more okay so i'm gonna peel back some of this going to line it up on the bottom as best as I can. Line it up with the tape so it gets covered and it's okay if it's not too even because we're going to be covering off, um, cutting off some of the edges anyway. Okay, so there's that one and peel back this one and add your third piece. So I always line up on the bottom first where there's no sticky tape yet because I already peeled back the top. So I just try to line it up on the bottom first. Okay, then you press down and then you just pull the rest. Now I'm gonna take my chipboard. I'm gonna start off with the middle piece because these ones, I want the spine of these pieces to be on the bigger piece. So I'm gonna put this one in the middle. or what looks like the middle. Then I'm gonna take some quarter inch tape and I'm just gonna place this down here. So this is gonna be my guide for where to place the other chipboard. And I used to do the two pieces of chipboard, which gives you like an eighth of an inch. I like um, the quarter of an inch actually better with my um, layering pieces. I don't know. I feel like it works a little bit better for me. 
So I've been doing the quarter inch. Okay, so just one on each side. Make sure that's scored down. Then you're gonna take your other piece. Okay, and you're gonna line this up on the edge of that tape without going over it. Okay, and then the other side. You know, now that I'm looking at this, maybe I would have had enough with just um, two pieces of cardstock, but it's okay. Like two pieces like stuck together, I probably would have had enough. Okay, so then I'm gonna cut off some extra pieces. Yeah, I definitely would have had enough with just two pieces of cardstock, but you know what? I really dislike um, this cream colored paper, so I don't even care if I'm gonna be wasting it, though I'm probably not because I'll probably end up saving this for something else. All right, now we have to miter our corners. So I just got a cutting mat here, but I'm actually gonna cut off some of this up here as well. There's just a little bit too much up here. And feel free to cut this straight and do measuring if you want. I am just eyeballing because it's all gonna get covered up with patterned paper eventually anyway. Like I, I'm not a straight cutter, but it doesn't even matter. <laughs> So I'm taking my miter corner tool. I have this one from Colorway Arts, which I'll link down below. I haven't seen like where to get the plastic ones or anything, but I will link this one down below and I use it for every single album that I make. It just gives you the perfect amount of space between the edges of your chipboard um, so that when you go to cover it up, it's always covered and you don't have like any missing pieces of paper that don't cover the chipboard so i just always go back to this thing and i literally use it for every single album i don't like eyeballing things like that <laughs> not in this case because one too many times i've had to cover up my mistakes because i didn't cover it properly okay so now you're gonna place some double-sided tape on the edges here okay so I'm just adding in my double-sided tape and I usually do just two layers of this um, 3 8 of an inch tape so if I go over that I'm just gonna end up cutting off the rest of that paper so like here I have some overhang instead of just grabbing more tape I'm just gonna cut it off because you don't really you don't need it. Okay, so you're gonna um, burnish all those, make sure they're stuck down. Okay, I'm gonna cut off the extra here. And the extra here. And I also got some extra here because we know that I don't know how to cut straight and it's fine. So next, if you're using the tape in the center, you want to peel those off next. Okay, and then peel off one of the top pieces in all your any tape overhang just tuck it in and then you're going to crease it okay then you want to tuck your corners so all you're doing is pushing those corners in so when you go to fold it they don't end up being like pointy edges when you fold the other layers and then do the outside pieces fantastic guys so now 
we have our base here and that's what that looks like okay so we're going to still work on this obviously but this is going to be the size of my folio album here's going to be the next thing i'm doing i want to add this envelope somewhere in here um maybe yeah like maybe like i don't know here somewhere um so what we're gonna do is cut this down so this measures again five by eight so i'm gonna cut this down to measure a height of seven and three quarters so i'm just gonna cut from this side and don't you guys love it this is just an envelope from tax information that came in department of treasury <laughs> some tax stuff you know great great stuff okay so i just cut that off right there i'm probably going to cut all of it because i think i might do some stitching around it so you know what um that is seven and three quarters but we're going to cut off the top two just so i have that opening all right so now what I'm going to do is actually, we're, we're going to need this again. I want to cover this up and I'm actually thinking of using one of the lightweight papers that I printed and I want this part, the revolutionary new tea bag on there. I think the one might not say revolutionary tea bag anymore. Maybe. So let me cut this page to be somewhat straighter than what it currently is. So I want to cut this and put it on here. So I'm just going to make myself a little mark here of where I need to cut just so this could line up on here. cover this piece right here okay but what I also want to do is cut out that little window how do I do this <laughs> how do I cut out the window <laughs> wasn't thinking this through it's not like I could just draw on it I mean we're gonna try We're gonna cut something out guys all right well I have four little lines on here that I guess we're just gonna cut into and hope that I don't mess anything up so let's go like up to here And we totally eyeballed all of this, but hopefully it's fine. Okay, so we got ourselves some kind of a window. Is it the same window? I don't know, but we're about to find out. Oh my goodness, we got a window, guys. I don't know if it's the whole thing, I mean, that looks pretty good. Okay, it's not the whole thing. Um, we could go up here a little bit more. All right, look at that. Okay, so that's gonna be 
my little window here. I kind of like that on the inside. And this is going to get stitched back up. This is just going to be a flap here. And I think I might do, actually, this is going to be our flap to glue into our page. But I even might cut this off and do like a side loading flap. Oh, well, this will get cut off but stitched at the same time, if that makes any sense. Um, okay, let's cover the back. We have this page here, so maybe we'll just use this here now. Where did my pencil go? Good enough lines. Oh, maybe I want to leave it as a journal space. Ooh, maybe I do. The height looks good. I just cut off a teeny, teeny bit here. I kind of like it. Is so that we leave that as a journal space? Then we'll have this on the cover. All right, I like it, guys. So we're gonna save that on the side for now because I do want to do stitching pretty much throughout this album, I think. So I'm gonna start working on some inside pages. So I do have some heavyweight cardstock that I also found in my stash. I only have these sheets, so hopefully that's enough. Um, but I want to use it up guys. I'm going to cut this. I, this is five by eight. So I know my height is going to be seven and three quarters. So let's cut this piece down to seven and three quarters. Okay. Um, we're going to need like four and three quarters here. Um, just to make it a little shorter so nothing bangs into one another. But... Um, I'm going to do a quarter inch gusset. So now we need five. So five and a half inches. I'm going to cut this down to five and a half. So it's five and a half by seven and three quarters. And I'm going to score this at half an inch. And I can't see anything. I'm sure you guys can't see anything either. Wow, this is really hard to see on this paper. So score at half an inch and then at three quarters of an inch, which gives you that quarter inch gusset. Okay. So we're going to fold both of those. Both score lines, then I have the other one I need to fold also. Okay, so we got our quarter inch gusset, and I'm going to be putting that right here on the edge. Don't want anything hitting as we go to close that, which I think this is fine. But I'm probably going to put it on the very edge of this, I think. Okay, so I'm just putting some glue on here. It is so hot under these lights, guys. Um, okay, so I'm going to line this up on the very edge of my folio here. And once I have that in a place that looks good, I'm gonna open that up and just press down on my gusset here. Okay, so that's what that should look like. I have that on the very edge of my folio and that's gonna be a nice flip out page. 
Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is cover this up. I wasn't going to and I was gonna wait till the end, but it's kind of bothering me and I feel like I can't focus. So I have an eight and a half by 11 piece right here. I'm gonna cut it down to seven and three quarters. From the eight and a half inch side, I'm gonna cut that to seven and three quarters. And I'm just gonna put it like down straight across. <laughs> And that's, that's how it's gonna go. So I'm gonna line it up on the edge here. And then this one, we'll just get, it's, it's gonna get covered up with paper later. It's a little shorter, but that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna do double-sided tape on this because I feel like if I put glue on this, it's gonna show through. Because this paper looks kind of thin, like, I mean, not not that it looks thin, like it's 65 pound weight paper, which I use for a lot of things. It's just, it's kind of see-through. Like I, I could see the chipboard through the paper. So yeah, we're just gonna do it this way. Okay, so I'm almost done. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna line it up. Um, you kind of want like an even amount of space on the top and bottom. It is seven and three quarters, so you should have that. So I just put that down and I'm gonna burnish it. Okay, then start folding. Perfect. And then here's my other one right here. Okay, so that feels better to me already now that I actually have like the the base here all covered up. Okay, so when you open this up, I'm gonna need some kind of a closure here eventually, but this is what that's gonna look like. I did do some stitching on my envelope here and I cut this part open, so that part is open. Um, where do we wanna add this? here that would be that side no I could add it here no but I'm gonna have my journal on the spine so let's add it here that's what we're gonna do okay so I'm just gonna take some glue And I'm putting it on that flap. Make sure to not get it in the creased lines. And there's the train, as always. Okay, so you still want this to be able to fold, and that's perfect. Okay. And obviously this is gonna get covered up with some patterned paper later. Okay, so there's that little flappy looks so good already okay now what now let's add some more flip out pages and things like that i guess i mean we need to bulk this up quite a bit more so maybe we'll do another flip out um well let's see this opens up like this we'll probably add a pocket then we have this we can't add anything else here but we could add tons of stuff here still Mm, let me see what other paper oh I got this piece so this already already measures seven and three quarters in height um what is this going across it's five and a quarter and like the other one we scored half an inch and then a quarter inch so we're gonna do the same thing with this one I think it's gonna be a little shorter than the other one because I think the other one measured five and a half so this one is five and a quarter. I'm just using scraps that I have. So I have half an inch that I'm scoring and then I'm scoring um, at three quarters, which is a quarter inch gusset. And again, I'm using the heavyweight cardstock for this. Normally I use lightweight. So if you have lightweight, go ahead and use that. 
I'm just trying to use up my paper because I don't like my cream color. But I have to say, it is looking really good with the gold thread. <laughs> okay. So, we have another... Do I need a gusset here? I don't know if I needed that gusset. Oh, but what we can do is have this go like that and then like that. So then this opens, you have this, and you gotta open this. Then you have this other flappy. Oh, that's kind of fun. Okay, so we're gonna glue this down. Hey, maybe we could add a magnetic closure on this then. That would be good. Now that we added this flap, this will go like that, and this, and this. So yeah, we could probably add a nice little magnetic closure here. That would be good. Or, I mean, we could add whatever else, but. So this, we'll have a pocket here. Um, I feel like it needs more flippies. So this time, this one's gonna measure um, eight and a quarter by, let's try four and three quarters, I guess. So four and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And I'm gonna score this at half an inch on the long side so that we're making a top flap. And I'm not gonna add a gusset this time. We're gonna make this one flat. So I'm gonna add that to the top here. Okay, so you're gonna center that. Okay guys, so I decided I'm just gonna add another flip out. <laughs> so we're gonna make this one uh, four inches by seven and three quarter. And now I'm using 65 pound paper because this is what I had on my desk. Okay, so I'm gonna score this at half an inch, so at three and a half. And I'm thinking of adding this here. So we'll just have another flip out before we get to open that. Okay, so that's what I think I'm gonna do. Except that this one we need to miter since we already added this one down first. So we're gonna miter this. And we might as well miter both while we're at it. Okay, so this is gonna go under there. So we're gonna glue this guy down. Okay, I just wanna make sure this is still gonna close. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's gonna go like that, then this, then this, then this and then that. Oh, that's so fun. Look at all the creative stuff we're coming up with. So I wanna start paper matting this to see like what space I have and to see it kind of come to life. I also think I might pull some paper from this collection called Pink Parasol from Recollections. There's a couple of pages in here that I was like, ooh, we're gonna look really nice with this, like this one. And Maybe, I don't know, that's a little orange. There's like a wood one in here. 
this one is like a pink and yellow kind of thing so you might try to use those two and i almost forgot i wanted to do stitching on everything almost forgot so i'm going to cut down my papers and then i'll probably go and stitch them before i glue everything down so let's just cut them all first so this has to be and we'll go three and three eighths and then it's supposed to be the height seven and three quarters so i'm just going to go a teeny bit shorter we'll do seven and five eighths let's go this way okay so that's gonna be my flap here and then i think i'll put the tea time thing on top of it maybe i don't know it looked better before I decided to put that there. <laughs> Maybe this way. Okay, I like that a little better. Okay, so I'm just gonna paper clip this because um, I, I need to cut all my sizes down first and then I'm gonna do the stitching. So I'm gonna cut another piece for here. I know I want like a T thing here um like a little tuck spot oh maybe we'll use this instead so let's make a little pocket okay so i got paper four and a half right that's what we said by three and a quarter i'm gonna score this on the four and a half inch side at four inches and a half an inch and then on the three and a quarter inch side at two and three quarters on just one side okay i'm gonna miter these corners This is going to go right here. It's a little too wide. So all I'm going to do is going to take this back and I'm going to make a line right before that other one, right before that four inch mark. So I have two lines there now. I'm going to miter again from that new corner and I'll just fold that over there. You just don't want it hitting the edge here when you go to fold this. So it's a little shorter, yes, but you don't want it hitting anything. Okay, so that looks good. So that means that this measures two and three quarters. So I need my paper here to be about like two and a half-ish. And it's by three and a half, so we'll do a little bit less. And I want this T thing on the bottom we're gonna make it a continuous pattern so two marks less than three and a half and two marks less than two and three quarters okay so that's gonna be my little pocket here it's gonna be the paper that goes on there And then the rest is going to be like a continuous page going up there like that. We're going to cut this like right here. So I just made myself a little mark. Okay, looks good. So I'm just gonna paper clip this down onto here as well because that's where that's gonna go. Then I need a page that goes here. So for this one, that flap is four and three quarters. So I'm gonna cut it a couple of pieces shorter than four and three quarters. 
and then a little bit shorter than seven and three quarters. Okay, so that's our flippy right there. I like it. Okay, so then that flips open. Okay, um, that measures five, so let's cut this one at um, four and three quarters ish. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, so that's gonna go right there. And this bottom piece, we're gonna make that a little tuck spot. So I'm gonna cut around this. Okay, so if I have this layering here, Okay, just like that. Then I'll have this here and we'll line it up with those lines and it's gonna be a little tuck spot. That's cute, right? Okay, so that's what I think we're gonna do here. Okay, we need another page up there. I think I printed too many pages, guys. I think I want some pattern paper up there. So I think I just might do this one. I think we need some patterns in here. Junk journal kits are great, but they don't have like, um, just like regular patterned pages. Or, I mean, yeah, they don't, they don't really have patterned pages. So I'm gonna cut this at uh, a little less than five. And we're cutting a little less than seven and three quarters and what I'm gonna do with this one is probably ink the edges so this is a paper I grabbed from a recollections paper pad it's called pink parasol this actually has to be shorter I think like that maybe and a teeny bit more Okay, and the height, height could be a teeny bit shorter too. Okay, so that's gonna go here and I'll probably ink the edges and do some stitching around that. So that's gonna go on the top there. I think that looks good to break up some of the journal spaces. Um, I almost feel like we need something here, like another, flip out or something oh my goodness I just feel like there's a lot of journal um writing because now there's here here um but this is gonna get closed so maybe it's okay and then this gets closed I'm having a hard time showing you guys okay so that gets closed this will be here then this then this and this oh that's chunky look at that guys that chunked up really nicely um i mean it's not glued down yet there's this it's not glued i like it but now i have this page that's also journaling and i feel like it needs a little something more um hmm. so let's just make another one of these things so this i think was four inches right okay so I'm gonna cut another piece it's gonna measure four inches by seven and three quarters we're gonna score that at half an inch in a second um, so then I need another pocket so I'm just gonna mirror the other one 
So we'll do another pocket and this will be uh, two and three quarters to so three and a quarter height by four and a half. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to score that that long piece on just half an inch. So scoring at three and a half. And then this other one on the short side, I'm going to score at two and three quarters. The long side, I'm going to score at half an inch. And normally I would score this at four, but the other one we did one line before the four. So I'm going to do one line before the four. Okay, so I'm going to miter these corners. So you're just cutting at a diagonal. You're going to fold these ones. I'm going to miter these two actually. Okay, so that's another flap that we're gonna have. <laughs> Lots of flaps. Um, but this one's gonna go out this way. So this goes on the top here, right? So that opens, then this opens, and then I think I want this to open. So we're gonna glue this down. Oh, 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 that might have to go on top. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to do it on top now because I made a boo-boo. So, because I, I needed to make it a little shorter in order for this to go underneath because it just, it hits it. And I don't know if we'll be able to do another pocket there or not, but we might be able to. I just don't know. All right guys, I'm gonna go do some stitching so I can glue some of this down and then we'll figure out some more. All right guys, so I was going to be adding this here, remember? And then this was gonna be a flip out. So it was gonna get added with this page. But since we added this flap here, I did, I did go ahead and cover this up um, with some more of that pink paper. And I covered everything else so far that we cut out. So I have all of that. I don't think I'm going to be adding a second pocket here because this makes it a little bit bulky already. Um, but what I'm going to do here is add a closure. So this is still going to go here. Just like that. But I'm going to be adding like these photo corner kind of closures. I could have these linked down below. Um, I got some from Ali, but I also got some from Amazon. So I'm gonna have both of those linked down below for you guys. So you guys can have an option. And all you do is attach it with a brad. So I'm gonna line up this page of where this is gonna go, just like that. Then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna have that go something like that. So what you wanna do is figure out where you want this to go and probably gonna have it go here and then that's gonna open like so okay so it's probably gonna go there okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my um, just like a little pointy tool and I'm gonna put a little point there just so I know where to point like punch my hole so I'm gonna punch a hole through and I did add um, some double-sided tape back there, oops. And then you want to 
take your brad, you're gonna put it through that photo thing, through the hole, and you're gonna close that up, okay? And then I'm gonna glue it down. So I'm gonna take off my double-sided tape up to a point. Like I need this to be able to turn. You see how that turns? So we're gonna leave the rest of that double-sided tape there since I already placed it down. We're just not gonna take off that edge. Okay, that looks good. I was trying to think ahead of what I would need. Not thinking about where my um, photo thingy was going to go. All right, so anyway, now I'm going to stick this down. Just adding more glue. I'm going to put some glue on the outside, though. And then around it, but nowhere where that brad is going to turn. So I left like a little square there. That's blank. Okay. So I'm going to add this now to my page. Now this is going to go here when this is close. Wait, just kidding. It's going to go like that. <laughs> so when this is closed, it'll look something like this. And then this opens. So this is probably where we're going to place our card. So I'm going to put some glue here. Okay, just like that. All right, so this opens, then you have this. I will go back and reinforce this with some more glue. Just like a thin strip of glue in between here. Just wanna make sure it's all gonna be stuck down. So yeah, then this is gonna close and then you have that photo corner thing to keep it closed. So I really like how that looks. So this opens this opens here we're gonna have a tag probably gonna be some solid color tag i feel like i need something more plain on this side and then this opens up and looks like that so let's see what we're gonna add here nope we might need to go to um the other paper pad that i was pulling from before Okay, so I think that measured three and a half, so we're gonna cut this a little less than three and a half. I don't know if I want these flowers there. Okay, cut the flowers off. So a little less than three and a half, because I think that's how big our pocket thing was on the other side. And then, Cut this a little less than seven and three quarters. Okay, and that's gonna go here. Perfect. Okay, so that's gonna go there. Okay, that looks good. Make it a little bit more plain. Okay, that's good. Um, I'll probably take one of those pink scraps and just put it here. So I'll just probably take one of these and ink it. Okay, and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I just put in those paper mats. We got all of this so far. Um, I am just gonna go off camera now and I'm gonna finish paper matting these pages and this and this. And I'm gonna add probably two magnets right here. I just need to figure out um, my pages. So I will be back to show you guys what that looks like, but I'm not gonna do it on camera anymore. And then my next part of the video, I will do the, um, my journal. Okay. So I will do the journal on camera. So I'll be back with a part two, but stay tuned. Cause I'll show you guys the finished part 
of this in a little bit. All right, guys, so I am back and this whole side of the folio journal is finished. I did go ahead and add the spine piece here just to cover it up. Um, the next thing in the part two of the video, we will be making the journal that's gonna go here on the spine. And I'm probably not gonna do too much on the back here because that's where the journal is gonna be like laying flat on here. Um, so probably not gonna do too much back here maybe just like a little envelope or something but let me show you guys what this looks like so this is the front page so this t i was thinking you could add like a photo here then this opens up like that and again i used papers from um liana scrap her digitals but i also used papers from a recollections paper pad it's called pink parasol um and it's a new one from this year so i got that wood one from there and then there's another pink one I got from there. Um, so here, I was originally going to do pockets here. I decided not to. I really liked the twin pages here. Um, when you open it up, I really liked the twin pages. So that I left like that. I just go ahead and make an insert here. And then the back side of this is the floor de lis. This is paper from theater of stars i just have some scrappies left so i decided to throw it in here and that's from this paper pad i've been trying to use up the scrappies and the little bits i have left so i could write off another one so that's what that looks like so you have journaling on one side and then you could add a photo on the other side and i did stitch on like a lace trim so it's kind of like peeking out um from this envelope and then in the little window you could see the word um tea with this little like tea kettle kind of thing so then that flips, you've got that journaling space. You've got the cut apart here with this closure. It says tea time. This opens up, then this opens up. Here I went, made a tag. This is that other pink paper from Pink Parasol. And I just left the backside blank with that paper so you could do some journaling on there. And that lives in here. Added in an eyelet and some seam binding. And then this flips open. And then here I added in two um, cut aparts and I inked the back sides of them so you could do some journaling on it because I just it felt weird leaving them white so I did go ahead and ink those and those just live in here in this like secret kind of like pocket here because it does blend in with the lines um, that's the way I decided to make it but yeah so secret little pocket there um, so then that closes this closes this closes and that goes like that then this this and this and that does magnetized closed so that is the whole left side of our folio stay tuned for part two where i'll show you guys how to make the journal so stay tuned and i'll see you guys over there thank you so much for watching and talk to you soon bye